Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to our English lesson with me, Teacher Idayu. Today, we are going to learn about top 10 endangered species. Please open your past to book page 45. What is meant by endangered species? Animals that may soon not exist because there are very few now alive. Haiwan yang mungkin tidak wujud lagi selepas ini sebab bilangan mereka yang hidup pada hari ini sangat sedikit. Exercise 1. Listen and repeat the animals. Gorilla Elephant Crocodile Owl Whale Rhinoceros Polar Bear Snake Turtle Butterfly Giraffe Penguin Tiger Bee Which four animals do you think aren't endangered species? Binatang mana dari senarai tadi hok buke endangered species? Question 3. Look at the headings in the table. How do you see the words in your language? Tengok tajuk di jadual ni. Lagu mana? Kita sebut dia dalam bahasa Melayu. Question 4. Copy and complete the table with the animals in exercise 1. Salin dan lengkapkan jadual di bawah ni dengan senarai binatang yang kita sebut dalam exercise 1 saat ni. What is a mammal? A warm-blooded animal with fur or hair on its skin and a skeleton inside its body. Mammal mothers produce milk to feed their babies. Most mammals have four legs or two arms and two legs. Mammal ialah binatang yang berdarah panah dengan rambut atau bulu dan bertulang belakang. Ibu mammals dia menghasilkan susu untuk menyusukan anak dia. Kebanyakan mammals ada empat kaki ataupun dua kaki dan dua tangan. What is a reptile? A cold-blooded animal with a skeleton inside its body and dry scales or hard plates on its skin. Most reptiles lay eggs with soft, leathery shells. Some kinds of reptiles live in water but use their noses to breathe air into their lungs. 
Reptil ialah binatang yang berdarah sejuk dan bertulang belakang serta mempunyai kulit bersisi atau bercengkerang. Kebanyakan reptilia bertelur. Setengah reptilia tinggal di dalam air dan mereka menggunakan hidung untuk bernafas melalui paru-paru. What is a bird? An animal with two wings, two feet and a body covered with feathers. Most birds can fly. Birds lay eggs with hard shells. Burung ialah sejenis binatang yang ada dua sayap, dua kaki dan tubuh dilitupi oleh bulu. Kebanyakan burung boleh terbang. And the last one is insect. What is an insect? A small animal whose body is divided into three parts. Insects also have three pairs of legs and usually one or two pairs of wings. Serangga merupakan binatang kecil, tubuh dia dibahagikan kepada tiga bahagia. Insek dia ada tiga pasir kaki dan biasanya ada satu atau dua pasir sayap. Let's move on to question 2. Copy and complete the descriptions with words from the box. Salin dan lengkapkan penerangnya ni, huruf tepat dot 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 tu. Nombor satu dia ada dot 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 daripada senarai binatang huruf kita sebut dalam exercise 1 saat ni. Question 2. Listen to the audio given and check your answers. Top 10 Endangered Species These animals are in danger. Find out why below. 1. Hotter summers and colder winters are making it difficult for this monarch butterfly to survive. 2. People are destroying the forest where the mountain gorilla lives. 3. Large areas of ice where the polar bear hunts for food are melting. 4. Tourists are disturbing the leatherback sea turtle, which lays its eggs on beaches. 5. It's illegal but people still hunt the tiger for its skin. 6. People in some countries eat whale meat. 7. 
People hunt the rhinoceros for its horn, which is very valuable. 8. In some parts of the world, the penguin can't find enough fish to eat. 9. People are building houses and roads in areas where the crocodile lives. 10. Hunters kill this animal because elephant tusks are worth a lot of money. Question 6. Listen to Chris and Lucy talking about a project they have to do. Answer the questions. Okay, selepas ini, awak akan mendengar perbualan di antara Chris dan Lucy bercerita mengenai projek yang mereka akan lakukan. Kemudiannya, awak jawab soalan di bawah. Number 1. Why does Lucy think whales are intelligent? Kenapa Lucy fikir kepau ni cidik? Number 2. What do whales do when people wash them from boats? Okay, Pau buat gapa apabila orang tengok dia dari boat. Number 3. What does Chris say people aren't allowed to do anymore? Kenapa dia Chris goyak? Orang okay, tidak dimenangkan melakukannya lagi. Number 4. Why are ships dangerous to whales? Kenapa kapal berbahaya kepada Cape Pauz? Number 5. Which animals does Chris want to write about? Chris nak tulis mengenai binatang gapo. Which endangered animal are you going to do your project on? Whales, I think. I found this article about them on the internet, and they're really amazing animals, you know. What's so amazing about them? Well, first of all, they're really intelligent. For one thing, they've got their own language. What do you mean? Fish can't talk. They aren't fish. Honestly, Chris, don't you listen to anything in biology? They're mammals. OK, if you say so. Anyway, whales make sounds under the ocean in order to communicate with other whales. Really? I didn't know that. Yes. And they're very friendly animals too. When people go whale watching, the whales swim near the boats and look at the people. Wow! I'd love to see a real whale. Me too. But soon, there might not be any. Why not? Whale hunting isn't allowed anymore, is it? No, but they still do it in some countries. Another problem is ships. Ships? Yes. Sometimes ships hit whales and kill them by mistake. That's terrible. I know. Anyway, what are you doing your project on? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Maybe snakes. Snakes? They aren't an endangered species, are they? No, but I know a lot about them. My brother's got a pet snake, you see. You're joking. Yuck! That's the end of our lesson today. Thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum.